What is up everyone, my name is Mr. Tisu and welcome back to God of War Wagonar. Now, we are trying to free this dude and it took me a minute because I didn't see this. Good. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit disappointed I didn't see that. This one's not free. So like now it's easier to see, but I don't know. I literally couldn't see it. Well done. Time to set it loose. Hi. Back to the surface then. Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. fate of these creatures. It reminds me of a story. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame... Yes. Is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who would open it. Well, at least it's a relatable story.
It appears we've overstayed our welcome in our time. Take solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know. There is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? Statue of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. Freya's absence, 
but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. But both of the need. So maybe if we just take this one out. Put it up there. It's also... Or not, that's actually what we need. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. Ugh. God, it's puns. I wonder if I can jump with this. Hopefully. I cannot. So I do have to take the one from the bridge, fortunately. Looks like we can read the inscription now as well. In honor of the enlightened one, may his gift of light shine eternal. Ah, gift of light. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say, his presence? You are not funny. <laughs> Oh, 
that's a thousand though. We'll do level one for now. Cause I wanna get whole skills. Some wood mats. So that is all we can do with SP for Trado so far. Might as well do that for now and have the pog active. I suppose we're gonna upgrade some of these as well. I still like that one, so actually I'm gonna keep that for now. What else we got? And this one's alright, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep that one. It really doesn't matter at the point. I think we all good for now. Right, how do we get back, Fresh Mark? Even when Freya was actually here, the peace was fragile. Surely a bit of extra light in the desert isn't enough to make it last. Before I met Faye, I could not imagine a life of peace. After her death, in our travels to Jotunheim, I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves will find peace again one day. Even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. Yeah, but now this place is actually somewhat pretty nice. Is there any? Oh, we still have one more, fortunately. There's still a lot of things we haven't got, though. Uh, so I'm gonna do this side fest, then I might focus on just completing this one area. Cause I wanna do, I wanna do some of this stuff like, later. Becky and Spana could use the company. We have kennels. It would not go well for them. Once a predator becomes accustomed to a land, it is cruel to move them. I suppose you're right. It just seems lonely out here. It is peaceful. They have each other. It is enough. Yes. 
So all these ones now I have a light on them. statue in the desert. Ah, oh. aye. Fair bet this is a sanctum Big Deer spoke of in Van Eye. So before we do that, I'm gonna all these. to your brother learning to realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. Yes, Gerd. Someone he could wander with at what night. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Came from the runic core! Bloody oh. hell! Look at that thing! I'm not ready for a boss fight, come on. Nicely done! Keep on it!
yet another guest of Fimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. Jeez. Maybe we gotta go around for that. Oh, we're not. Ah! Lads, I thought death had cured me of my appetite, but... Damn if I can't stop thinking about the smell of tear stew. I wakened a fair few culinary cravings, then. Black pudding, haggis and meats. Oh! Porridge and honey. What about you, brother? Any pre-thimble winter foods you're aching for? Olives. What the hell's an olive? <laughs> I never heard of an olive before. <laughs> of your own brother? No. Well, ask a stupid question. Back to your brother learning to realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. Yes, Gerd. Someone he could wander with as never before. So, wander they did. Exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken. And resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by light and dark elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, 
both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. <laughs> on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. archive of knowledge no sign of the light elves for now maybe they've left for the day and we can browse at our leisure alone are not enough to end the elven war but restricting their access only serves those who wish to prolong it taking a page out of odin's book aye quite the advantage for the light elves all this knowledge of their ancestors their shared history poetry just sitting here forgotten what a waste <laughs> Sealed, but there is an inscription. Consul. Big Veer spoke of an exile of the same name. Odds are he'd like a gander at that particular text. the Valiant Schematics, eh? You know of him. Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. It appears the librarian would like a word. Lata Framborg. Sounds like she wants that journal back. No. Shield strike! Oh, <laughs> 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 
fucking stun is insane. She thinks she's protecting them by hiding all this knowledge away. Our ally wishes to read this journal. We are taking the book. I get the hell out of my way. <clears throat> so I'll actually kill you. I'm impressed. Thought you were going to end her. When last we traveled here, after Fay passed, I killed an elf of great importance. The ramifications were dire for his people. I do not wish to make the same mistake twice. You know, Freyr loved to breed Gulan pups in Vanaheim. I wonder if these two are the descendants of the Gulan he brought here long ago. That explains how they got to the desert. Another gift for the Dark Elves. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, the sun. Immediately into battle. Gotta love it. You know what? We, we're just gonna end it there. Alright. God, after that fight, I'm done. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.